Welcome to the Behind the Bench Sports Network. This is the Kobe Bryant Film Room, man. Big shout out to Kelvin, Rashad, JB, um, Big Dog Talk Sports, man. Uh, Kelvin, uh, let's get it. So, uh, <laughs> this video is going to be titled, A Letter to the, F to the Fake Laker Fans. Are You Still Down? And the reason why I'm asking, are you still down? Right? It's because LeBron is ready for his departure. You see, you guys, you fake Laker fans out there, we real Laker fans, we try to warn you. We really do. We try to warn you about shit like this. Right? It's just like when your woman is about to leave you. She's staying out later. She's acting different. She Every time you try and talk to her, she catches an attitude with you. You can't touch her the way you used to. You're not getting none the way you used to. You guys are spending more time away than together. She's always on the phone with somebody else. Won't let you know who she's talking to. She's always at work. You know. She won't cook for you no more. Not cleaning the house. Right? So these are the signs of when your ass is about to get left. <laughs> but you guys, what you do is, oh, maybe she's going through something. Nah, she's planning on leaving your ass. And see, the thing about y'all, y'all get mad at real Lakers fans for warning you. She's about to leave your fucking ass. And see, here's the thing, right? How do you know LeBron's finna leave? Shout out to Ticket TV, right? Because I was thinking the same thing. And shout out to Two Raw for sports. I was just laying back, chilling today. I was going to do a video. I was going to wait till tomorrow. But uh, shout out to those two gentlemen for this. Zach Levine has decided to have season... Ending surgery. What does that mean? That trade to the Pistons is not going to happen. Right? Zach Levine is a clutch sports client. You get it? He's a clutch sports client. Which needs to be investigated by the NBA. Because I don't understand how you can nix a deal like that. By by uh, an agent being able to have this much control in the NBA is kind of weird. You know, he gets to destroy trades. You know, he gets to call off trades like he did with the Lakers, even though the Lakers management hasn't said anything about LeBron being traded. Shout out to Ticket TV. Uh, but this is the problem, right? LeBron wearing the Knicks towels and Knicks sneakers, walking into the arena, praising New York, saying uh, uh, the media campaigning. And the media's in on it, too. The media's campaigning. LeBron should go to the Knicks. The Lakers should trade LeBron. Blah, 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 blah. But you fake Lakers fans, right? What you don't realize is LeBron already quit on the team. He's got his bags in his suitcase. He's just waiting on the plane to, to arrive to New York. And you motherfuckers are sitting here cheering this guy on, kissing his ass, rubbing his back, rubbing his feet. You know, <clears throat> you bend over, you get on your knees, you shine his ass, you pucker up, you put chapstick on, you put lipstick on. And you kiss his ass. Right? This guy tried to throw D'Angelo Russell, who is an original Laker, by the way. We drafted D'Angelo. He's one of our own. Tried to throw him under the bus. Tried to throw the coach under the bus. Many years, LeBron's been just finding excuses, blaming the team every time it doesn't work out. Russell Westbrook gets all the blame. Everybody gets crucified. Danny Green. Everybody. Except for this guy. 
because he has the media in his back pocket. Lakers fans, fake Lakers fans. I had a conversation with a fake ass Lakers fan in the comment section. Oh, well, you're just spreading hate. You're spreading division. You want to divide us. Yes, I want to divide the dumb niggas from the smart ones. Yes. Simply because here at Behind the Bench Sports Network, what do we do? We like to speak facts. Most of the Lakers games where the Lakers win, there's a free throw discrepancy. A big one. Right? We're watching the games. We're watching non-calls. We're watching no, uh, fouls. Just be out of out of control. Just absurd. Right? Look what the Lakers are ranked driving the basketball. Look at the free throws. It's not rocket science. You tell these guys this. No, no, no. We're winning these games legit. Bro, they couldn't win games after the end season tournament. After the... Um, the, the fake championship. But you guys believe that all of a sudden they turn this corner. Right? Dumbasses. Now, for the people who understand basketball. Right? And understand what they're watching. LeBron's been teasing. Teasing playing with his son. He wants to play with his son. In New York, the Lakers' assets, he got us to trade all of our assets for him. He got to drain us. Right? He quit on the team. We've seen it. He's picking and choosing games he gets to play. He gets to pad his stats against the bad teams and sit against the good teams. Right? He left the team high and dry against the Celtics. Mind you, the Celtics is a rival of the Lakers. These are one of the biggest games of the years when we play the Celtics. We don't play them often. He missed that game, y'all. You know what LeBron was telling you when he missed that game? Real fans? He isn't a Laker. You know what? Shout out to Two Raw for Sports on this topic, too. You know what LeBron's telling you when he rocked New York Knicks shoes? He ain't a Laker. The Knicks were one of our rivals back in the day. He ain't a Laker. That's hella disrespectful. Everything this dude's been doing is disrespectful towards us. And for you fake Laker fans, or, or LeBron fans, better yet, I had LeBron top five before he started doing this. The only reason why I criticize LeBron the way I do, number one, he's on the Lakers. Number two, he's got a media out there who's literally campaigning for him to get all this help, but he's supposed to be the greatest player of all time. So I, we call it out. We discuss LeBron James because he's always in the news. They won't let you talk about anything else. The TV talks about LeBron 24 fucking 7. LeBron news. They won't talk about any other team. So you know what we said? We're going to be the voice against it. A lot of YouTubers said that. You know what? No, enough is enough. You're not going to just promote one man all day, every day. We are going to fight back. You know what you guys do? Why are you talking about LeBron? Meanwhile, he's doing all this stuff that he's doing. He's sitting out games. Do you know fans actually pay for tickets to see this dude play against the Celtics? And he didn't play. Right? He didn't play. He didn't play, y'all. Was he injured? No. But the injury report, the injury report is bullshit. The nigga has a license to rest anytime he wants to rest. You fake Laker fans are mad at people like me. Because I won't let him do whatever the fuck he wants to do on the Lakers. You guys want me to let him do whatever without criticism. And that's never going to happen because we didn't do that for Kobe. 
We did not do that for Shaq. We did not do that for Kareem. And we didn't do it for Magic. So it ain't going to be done for this dude, especially for this dude. If LeBron, I always said this about LeBron, if he shows up for work and tr it gives us his all, I won't have nothing to say. If he hustles on defense, I won't have anything to say. If he spent his tenure with us and then left because he couldn't get it done, but he tried, I have nothing to say. But he quit. He quit on us, y'all. And he's making it known publicly. I quit on y'all. I'm done. I'm leaving in the offseason. Fuck you guys. He's, he, put, he put the middle finger to us. He put the middle finger to you. Oh, but y'all ain't real Lakers fans. Y'all are LeBron fans. So y'all going to follow him wherever he goes, just like y'all did. Where's them, all those Miami Heat fans that claim they love the Heat, but they're gone? Where are all those old Cavaliers fans? They're gone. Right? Nobody's talking about the Cavs like that. But there was a whole lot of Cavaliers fans back in the day. Right? You guys, you guys travel pretty well. And to LeBron James, you think you get to, to quit on all these different in all these different situations and scenarios, right? And you think, like Ticket TV said on his live stream. You think you're going to control the narrative and become the greatest player of all time by playing for the New York Knicks after you quit on us? There's a bunch of fans that remember on all, all the times you fucking laid down and quit. We're never going to forget that. We're never going to forget you quitting on us. I'm never going to forget you quitting on us. Again, if you gave it your all, if you just couldn't win, fine. I'm not going to forget you quit, bro. Mm -mm. You quit. And why did you quit? Because and you abandoned the team before the All-Star break. Why did you quit? Because you saw greener pastors. You don't want to be a leader. You just want to stack the deck. And this is the problem that I've always had with LeBron James. When shit get tight. When it get tough and things ain't going his way, he wants to get the fuck out of Dodge. It's it's BS, y'all. I always respected LeBron James as a basketball player. But this past week, he completely lost my respect. Over this past year, I've been sitting back thinking, you know, I could kind of see where his fans coming from with the longevity thing and all that. Nah, 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 not no more. Not no more because I see what he's doing. And I think a lot of people are opening up their their eyes <coughs> to his bullshit. You have an agent who's literally signing people so that they can play with LeBron. It's smart. But. You, you're never going to be put in that category with Kobe or Mike. You're just not, bro. You took the easy way out. You'll be remembered as somebody like Kevin Durant, somebody who, when it got hot, you got out. You fake Lakers fans, you can keep cheering mindlessly. When, he, when we start losing a couple of more games and he throws the team under the bus. Right? As the, as, as the media continues to praise him. And you know what's funny about these Lakers fans? The media's shitting on the Lakers as an organization. As a brand. We weren't shit before LeBron came. That's what they say. That's what these LeBron James fans say. Even though we're a prestigious organization, no organization, I'm, and let me say this to you dick riders out there, no organization stays up forever. No organization wins forever. Every, every organization has their down years. So when LeBron came, 
Was I happy? No, I was not happy LeBron came. But I also saw it. I, I wasn't against it, but I wasn't like overjoyed. I said, fine, if he can help us win, fine. I don't mind. We got AD. I thought it was suspect how we got him, but we got him, right? And I said, you know what? Fine. I'm a cheer. I'm a, I'm a root for my team. I watched some games and things like that. And I was rooting for LeBron. Yeah, LeBron, get it. When him and AD got together, we were rolling. Then the bullshit started happening. We traded the whole championship team. We got Russell Westbrook because he wanted Russell Westbrook. Right? The Lakers management wanted DeMar DeRozan. He wanted Westbrook. He wanted to stack the deck, but he wanted to do it with Westbrook. Fine. I didn't see it working. Some people did. I didn't see it working. Basketball-wise. Sure enough, it didn't work. But as I saw what they did to Russell Westbrook, as I saw the amount of disrespect, I said, damn, bro, these are your teammates. You got dudes who who are affiliated with you shitting on this guy. Shannon Sharp shitting on Russell Westbrook every single day. I said, this isn't right. You guys love that. You you fake fans, you love that type of stuff because you joined in on it. I said, that's not that's not right. It's not one guy who loses games for you. And as Two Raw said, even when he played well, you guys didn't give him his credit. And I said, nah, 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 because he started playing better. Now, at first, he was playing like crap. And he made some statements about not expecting to win. I was on him. But then when he started playing better, I left him alone. I said, you know what? Rusbrook's trying to win. He's doing whatever it fucking takes to get the job done. They were still losing. Right? They were still losing. The turnovers Russ had were bad. But LeBron had turnovers too. One man does not lose you basketball games. But you know what, what one man can do? Who has power. Who can control the roster. Who's forcing the front office to make certain moves. Who's not playing defense. I do put the onus on the leader. Of the team. Anthony Davis is a follower. He's not the leader of the team. He's the best player on the team. He's not the leader of the team. LeBron James is the leader of the team. No defense of Russell Westbrook. No D'Lo's crying. The man is crying because he's fearing he might get traded again after taking a pay cut. On the bench. Miserable. Because he's being, the finger's being pointed at him. D'Lo's been balling. In fact, the team won without him. And you guys are happy because what? We're 500? The Lakers brand has suffered and we've accepted being mediocre. Look in the mirror. A franchise that once celebrated championships is celebrating a tournament that was made this year that started two weeks into the fucking season. At the end of December, the the once team that they praised for winning the tournament wasn't shit. The favorites to play Denver and to win the West, to go back and forth with Denver, weren't shit. Now all of a sudden the players are bad. Right? When they were praising these same players. Now, I never thought the players were that great. I knew they had some talent. But I never thought the pieces were that great. But the media was hyping them up to be that great. You 
You guys are trying to build your team around a 40-year-old man who shows you time in and time out. He can't impact the game the way he used to. You guys refuse to accept that. And you let him do whatever he wants. You just give him the keys to everything. And they ask me as a real Lakers fan, why am I talking about LeBron James? Before LeBron started doing these shenanigans, before the media started doing what they were doing on my channel, I was doing highlight videos of different players. I came on YouTube to talk about the narratives that they were putting out, but I wasn't going at LeBron. I was just going at the media. After a while, I started noticing something. LeBron kept feeding into the the narrative. And I saw a ping pong. They would ask him a subject. It would get talked about by his cronies. And I said, you know what? Nah, nah, nah. He has everything to do with this shit. The way they're coming at Kobe, the way they're coming at Mike. Nah, he he has everything to do with it. Nick Wright talking about a clutch sports Christmas party. It being revealed, uh, was it Doug Gottlieb? It was some guy. Nick Wright was signed to Clutch Sports. Shannon Sharp does what he does. Gilbert Arenas has a, a relationship with him. He actually responded to one of Gilbert's uh, tweets. I think it was about the Miami Heat. I forgot what it was, but he co-signed what Gilbert was saying. So, okay, so these two are having, he supports what Gil's saying. He's These two are having conversations. Oh, Richard Jefferson, they're not going to fire you because you're my friend. <coughs> Michelle Beadle coming out, and I don't even like Michelle Beadle. Michelle Beadle coming out and saying, LeBron tried to get her fired. So I started noticing. I said, ooh, this guy has a lot of power in the media. Stephen A. Smith has to put the ticker. Right? Philanthropist, good dude, built the school, all this stuff. Just to talk about a man, his game on the court? Again, people talk about his game on the court. And people get emotional. People get emotional. You figure where I'm from, bro, you figure out how to win. You don't run. You figure out what you're doing wrong. And you get in the gym. You get on your guys. You get them ready. You get them sharp. You do whatever it takes. To try and break through. But he's he's showing us. He's disrespecting the hell. Out. How can you guys root for this? He's disrespecting the hell out of us publicly. Yo. But I'm the bad guy. That's what makes you a fake Laker fan. Because you come after other Lakers fans. When they won't go for the bullshit. Laker Nation needs to be cleaned up. Lakers Nation will be cleaned up. We're going to do it on this channel. This is the Kobe Bryant Film Room. And I'm out.